Hello everybody, welcome back from more Ghost of Tsushima. What will be the final Ghost of Tsushima stream? Because we completed the main story last night, and uh, all that's left to do is basically tick off all of the... Mm, excuse me. All of the uh, question mark areas, liberate Kamiyagata, finish the side quests on Iki Island, and uh, Platinum, the uh, main portion of the trophy list. So, you know, we're just going to dive right in, get this done as fast as we can. So, to start, we're going to go to the most annoying area. Well, not most annoying. There's nothing really annoying about any of the areas. This is just the most bland. So, we are clearing Snowy Mountain Top off first and once this is done we will move on to Iki Island then Izuhara and then Toyotama is where we will end this so away we go to the closest point do this base first and <clears throat> get our horse do this without you boy Clearly you can, just wouldn't go as fast. Ah, oh, this game has been such a blast to play again. Like, it's only a few years old, but it still holds up and really kind of showcases even by today's standards, which was only like two years from when it was actually released, like exactly why this was heralded as the swan song for Sony in their last generation. All right, we're here. is telling us there's something here. <laughs> Weren't expecting that, were ya? Play with poison? Because I'm too lazy to switch. Now we'll switch. I'm following you, bug. <clears throat> Mongol helmet. A heavier variant of the basic Mongol headgear worn by Mongol warriors. The Mongol helmet is made predominantly from iron and hardened leather, typically fashioned into the shape of a rounded cone. It includes ear flaps and lamellar neck guard for greater freedom of movement. For added warmth and comfort, fur is used in the lining and trim of the helmet. Sweet. Oh, hi! Oh, you 
lucky son of a gun. bunch of supplies over here. Is that it for this one? Yep. Perfect. Forest. They can stay fucking there. Bear, bear has them. I believe in bear. Interesting part visually of the entire level, and it's a burned dead forest. All right. No oh, bugs here. Oh, it's right there, too. Watcha! As the Mongol Empire has expanded, it has drawn upon the military and engineering expertise of conquered regions across the Asian continent. One example of this is the Huacha, a siege weapon first developed in Goryeo, Korea. The Huacha is a mobile cart capable of shooting dozens or even hundreds of arrows in a single volley with a range of up to several hundred feet. Awesome. <laughs> Come and fight! Oh, it's a whole bunch of fire dudes, huh? Come on, buddy. Oh, he was blocked by the friggin' dude. I couldn't even see him. Someone's actually firing a watch at us. where the watch is. Right. First things first. Oh, 
Wait, no one's up here? Not what I meant to do. Put that down. No. That was, uh... So they were firing the Huacha at me with no one manning it. That, that's kinda bullshit. I mean, we survived, but that's kinda bullshit. Bug isn't coming out for anything else here, so we must be done with this area too. That Pillar of Honor is actually closer. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. <laughs> I wonder if that town over there is what it is. Find out very soon. Yeah. That bear is busy. White Falls Village, it, that indeed is the next Mongol encampment. In fact, the final Mongol encampment in Kamiyagata. You guys better not have any of them unmanned watches. Oh dear. Revenge and all that. Got an archer here. <laughs> Little bit of ghost killing there. Alright, bug. Seems to be thinking that... It's 
it's that way. Mahakala mask. Revered in Buddhism as guardian deity, Mahakala depicted, is depicted in many forms, though most often an imposing presence with a black face, three eyes, and a crown of five skulls believed to represent the transmutation of negative afflictions, the five kleshas, into, five, into the five wisdoms. The Mahakala's incorporation into Mongolian shamanistic rituals is just one example of the impact Tibetan Buddhism has had on the nomadic tribes of the ancient steppes. Okay. <laughs> There's still a poor bastard out there, huh? I'll take that. Okay, you now there's you. Where is everybody? Come on. Who all's left? Oh, there you are. Ha! Your friend, there. Perfect. Now we can go about getting all of the stuff. It's time for the collectathon to begin in earnest. And of course, we'll have some fights along the way, because otherwise it would just be me running around grabbing stuff. I'm actually really lucky I got him. Like, that tall grass was actually kind of fucking that perception a bit. Now, Jito's foothills. She's very gloomily gray out here today. Hey, bird, you taking me to where I'm going? Obviously, you are. And it was a hot spring.
Ah, that gin ass. When the Mongols are gone, I'm going to stuff myself with chinelo pears, fresh tuna, and sweet seaweed from Azamo. We are going to cut down as much of the travel time as possible by fast traveling a lot, too. Huh. I'm surprised Bird never led me to that. through the outside of the endless forest. Oh, it's a, uh, another hot spring. to honor him, you know? Alright. We're not too far away from another one. I don't really care about you, wood or bamboo. All my bows are fully upgraded. Supplies, leather, and silk, because while we're traveling around, we may as well pick that stuff up so we can, even though there's no attachments, like trophies attached to it, just upgrade our armor pieces as we go, because hey, why not? Hi, guys. And them all. What are you Mongols doing here? Why are you still on my island? Oh, it's Fox's done. All 
All right, little Kitson. Take me to the shrine. Following you, buddy. That one next. Yes, you are a good kitson. You led me to a place where I could check off a box. I don't think a horse would ever legitimately stop that close to a fire. At least, not one that was raging like that. Really, y'all? There's our archer friend. Please help me. You're going to be all right. There's no pain the Khans have suffered that would have been enough. Lord Sakai, you have my thanks. Go. Be well. Take this. It's all I have. Alright, now where were we? Alright, on the way to what looks to be a pillar of honor. Azure Dragon. And now we go down to that one, which I think is a shrine. So I think we saw the Tory Gate butt for it, like when we were passing by the last hot spring, too. Find out in a moment. Yep, totally a shrine. Oh, 
Really, boys? You want you wanna you wanna block my path? You wanna get off my island? Nice shield. Again. Next time I'm just switching to fire arrows with the half bow. In fact, you know what? There. <sighs> Next time I break out the half bow, I'm setting people on fire. And we're here. down this way. These Tori gates lead to the Frostcliff Shrine, Sanctuary of Nigihayahi no Mikoto, Kami of the Sky. Take the long way around. And now we got grapple. in on the shrine now. next there I like the way this path is laid out it's uh, you know they have just enough vi with visual cues and string you along with upgrade materials to keep you going in the right direction very clever overall oh Nearly fooled me. Perfect. 
here? Yes. Okay. Looks like we've pretty much made it. That's all the shrines. How much stuff is actually left here? Well, it would make most sense to start here at this pillar of honor and then of course you will have to swim across on your own ahoy mr drew you have caught us in the middle of the collectathon Decided to take care of Kamiagata first, as it's the most bland area. And there's actually some side quests to take care of on Iki, so uh, that's what we'll be doing once everything on Kamiagata is pretty much cleared off. <laughs> See? Knew he could get across the water on his own. It's a fox. It's just a cute little foxy. Taking me quite the ways, too. <laughs> so many little hidden areas in Tsushima. Quite the journey out to this one. All right. Perfect. Another one down. Next there. I'm feeling lazy enough that I don't want to climb all the way down there to get my horse. So we'll go from here. Really? Stand and fight! Y'all are still on my frickin' island. I don't understand why. And what are you all doing furthermore in Kin? Because y'all already ransacked this place. It's on fire. 
The entire surrounding forest is on fire. I would assume that this place has already been significantly raped and pillaged. Why are there still mumbles here? I don't know. If anyone can explain that. Without saying RNG Jesus. I will take it. Oh, bug. We've been distracted by bug leading us to something. Okay, bug. It seems to think it's in this house. side of this, maybe? No, bugs seem pretty obsessed with that corner. Not the root patch, is it? It's convinced there's something here. Oh, not... Those are just... I am confused. I think Bug is confused. It was a little confused, but they were over there. Farewell. At first I thought I was dreaming. I've often found myself waking in the morning, far from bed, without any idea how I got there. So when I woke to see the sacred Yoshiro tree in flames, I thought it was a nightmare. But it's real. The entire forest is burning. There's nowhere to run. This too will burn in the fire. And so I write my final wish. I loved you all my life, Tirute. But I can never work up the courage to tell you. Perhaps the wind will carry these ashes to you, and you will hear my final wish whispered to you in the tall grass. One more record down. I'm really going to have to invest in a new controller to see what the drift on this right stick is getting to be ridiculous. More of you. Okay. Hi. is here to drunkenly lead us somewhere. Possibly to exactly where I was going. More than likely to exactly where I was going. Oh, it's a hike.
Yeah, that's about as sensible as we're making that one. Burning desire. Deeply breathe in the despair. Accepting our fate. Oh, you can replay the duel with Koten Khan. So then I guess you could also play replay the duel with Lord Shimura as well. Quickly, no done with this frozen wasteland. Go to Icky Island, where there are still some actual quests, as well as collect upon stuff. How's it hanging? Legend Storyteller! Well, that's just useless. <laughs> You're fine, horse. You're heavily armored. If I remember correctly, this actually is the pillar of honor that we need. Yeah, it is definitely a pillar of honor, so I can see it. But I think this is the one you need to complete the Sly Cooper cosplayer trophy. Let's find out. I abandoned my steam to get this. Alright. I think you work for this one. So What the fuck? The sometimes glitchy platforming. Yep, that's it. Alright. Let's do it. Where is the Sly Tanuki? Sly Tanuki, there we are. Saku's armor and it's already on the right colors and then the headband there now back to what we were wearing before because kind of need the traveler's attire to do the wrap up properly And my Kensai hat is just cooler. I'll leave the uh, slight new key scabbard on though. Closest is dual coat and con. 
Oh, can't re can't fast travel to it. Okay. Closest is. No, yeah, that's great. We'll just go to Snowlit Peak Shrine because then we can. Bonk. Lobo, come. Right. Bonk. <laughs> Let's go, Lobo. Headed down to the coast. That is honestly very uh, satisfying. Now give me supplies. How am I so fortunate? Find somewhere safe. Be careful. My lord, this is for you. Almost there. Whatever this thing on the coast is. Is it a pillar of honor? No, it's a haiku and a Sashimono banner. That's actually a bit of a distance. So cannot wait to be off this part of the island. Just get back to places where there's more color.
wants us going that way, but I know we go around Mount Jokaku, not Control your plates. got to take care of a quick smoke alarm while dinner is being made. I'll be right back. There we go. No fire. Just bacon. Bacon and smoke detectors. They're always at odds with one another. No, it's not the lighthouse that we're headed to, because we already got the final lighthouse. Got the Chibo for that. The trees in this area are definitely quite unique, just the way they've been bent by heavy winds coming off the sea. That's actually really aesthetically very cool. Like, you know, even even though I give Kamiyagata a lot of hate for it just being a white snowy mountaintop and therefore the least visually interesting part of the game, it doesn't mean it's not still a beautiful area with lots of picturesque landscapes. It just means that out of the four areas in the game, it's the least interesting looking. But still, in so many ways, gorgeous. Like that sunset and those, or sunrise, I should say, and those trees. Just damn. another pillar of honor. Okay, so at this point, before we go on, All bamboo strikes have been found. Perfect. It would be nice if it told me how far away it was.
I have a feeling they aren't here in this. Which way is this taking me? It's taking me out to... Okay. So they're in this house. Because Bug is out. Oh, this is a stable. Thinks it's that way. I tried. And the records in particular we need for trophies. Conversations with Con 11. Okay, so we skipped 10 somewhere. And now disaster. A walking nightmare. The ghost and his bands of misfits and illiterate farmers have somehow thwarted the greatest empire in history and the greatest man I have ever known, Khotan Khan. I am a fool. I dreamed of living on 2nd Street in Kyoto, mere steps from the palace where Khotan and I would sample the endless delights of the court, and I would fill his brilliant mind with the intellectual and artistic treasures of our culture. But no, truly the proud do not last, and the mightiest of us perish like dust before the wind. Leading us in a direction. And that direction was kin. There's Bug. You trying to tell me it's above me, Bug? Like in there? Flying up around the top. There, now he's about level with us. He wants to go up further still. There they are. Cry for help. With my last carrier pigeon, I pray this note finds pitying eyes and ears. Please send help to Kin. At first we thought it was a terrible plague, but the invaders were unharmed. I don't remember who first figured it out. Poison. The invaders must have poisoned us. Mounds of the dead blacken in the sun. I doubt I will see another week of life, but I can hear a baby crying. I don't dare go out. Please, someone help us.
That way, huh? That way, huh? Probably in the Sago Mill. <laughs> right away, bug. See, at least this way we can knock off the records on Icky really quick as well. Again. There it is. The Die House. Sister, the headman has requested I come to the Die House. Instead, I will come to you. There is a silence there I find dangerous. It used to be a place of joy, people surrounded in brilliant blue, but now only wooden boxes come and go. Once I thought I heard a cr the crate scream. I'll get to you as quick as I can. There are only five records left in the game, too. And there's another one in this die house. Hang on a sec. Bacon, the smoke detector's worst enemy. Where are you, bug? Maybe outside of this building in a different one? Oh yeah, and down below too. So this building then. It's saying like above us ish. There they are. Lady Hana. Lady Hana hasn't left the main house in weeks. Mysterious visitors come and go. Some stay for hours, others for days, never together. I recognized one as a monk. Another looked to be no more than a peasant girl. Lady Hana is consumed with them. She does not let me inside other than to bring tea and rice. But when I do, I almost always hear the whisper of her sister's name. Cue Lady Hana talking to her conspirators about the fall of Clan Adachi. Gotcha. Oh, wow. There's a whole bunch of records in Sago Mill. Like, bug's not done. <laughs> bug's like, no, no. More this way. In this big building. At least, that's what I assume is what bug would tell us if bug could talk. Again, he wants us up. Hello, staircase. Hello, staircase. Where are you, staircase? Looking for the staircase. I want to get to the staircase. Or a ladder or something.
Hmm. If we can get up from somewhere on this side, yes. Ah. Watch her. I am leaving for Komoda. Keep an eye on Lady Hana while I'm gone. The miserable woman does nothing but brood and stew in dark corners of the house. She is almost completely useless, except as a place of warmth. But for that, I have to be drunk. Which reminds me, stock more sake from... Blah, blah, blah. Stock more sake from my return. I'll be back in a matter of days. Komodo should not take long. And I believe I just saw that the next set of records is... All the way in Izahara. So... Any crickets? This way. And there are only five crickets left, too. Ah, nice! Drew is now on wheels. How does it feel to be a cyborg that can travel on roads? I travel on ho roads by horse. As you can see, it is not cybernetic. It is more natural. Or it's enslavement. One of these. Cemetery on top of this? Because all crickets are found in cemeteries. And I have this sneaking suspicion that this cemetery is up here, which is why there was the obvious path. Could be wrong. But I'm not. All the way to about there. farther not too much farther I'm guessing it's by that woodcutter shelter All is telling me to go this way. So is it just outside the castle or is it up on that mountain? That's my 
Okay, now it's clearly just taking us. So, you know what? Mongol artifacts. Oh, really? This one's a little bit far out, huh? Usually they're at Mongol bases. I don't think we ever made it out to this thing. Or if we did, it was like part of a story. Bug saying it's in there. So now we just gotta figure out how to get in there. Really? I can't swim under that? Weird. I guess we'll have to go around it and come in from the other side. Find some weird pixelated things in the water. I bet it does feel good. I really should get on the learning to drive part. What with being a city boy my whole life, I've never had to, but there are benefits. I'm just shocked there's a Mongol artifact out here. Again, I don't even remember ever coming here unless we did this. Uh, oh, this might have been the village we were in for, as part of Norio's tale. Soldier supplies. Nomadic Mongol tribes only travel with what is immediately needed, a practice aided by their ability to live largely off the land. Beyond the weapons necessary for conquest, Mongol soldiers often travel packed with sundries like fish hooks and other useful tools for maintaining a varied and flexible diet. Well, you've got a head start on me, Mr. Drew. That, that is for sure. Okay, I'm going to bet that it's here. Hey. <laughs> 
Artifacts are pretty much always at bases. Or story areas, like we just discovered. I'm telling you, this is far from over. You sound sure. There's too much instability. There it is. Still have bandits. Ronin. Firelands. The Fire Lance first appeared as a small gunpowder pyrotechnic device attached to a spear in order to shock opponents at the start of a melee engagement. With successive advances over the past 300 to 400 years, the pyrotechnic device has become more powerful. Current Fire Lances dispense with the spear tip instead, discharging flame, debris, and pellets at a range of about 10 feet. Probably Fort Jokoku. Yeah. That's right. Y'all are in my way. I bet it would that would be handy. And thankfully I have that as well. Ah! Bloody archer. Do not need your bullshit. At all. Hey! Do not regain your posture, bitch! There. Alright. And it looks like dinner is actually ready, so we're gonna find this artifact, take a break. I'm gonna come back a little bit later on, and we are gonna continue this collectathon. Not until the break of dawn. But we will get it on, like Donkey Kong, at a collectathon, hucking barrels at Mongols. Except we're out of barrels, so we'll just have to use sword. Battering ring. Yep. Siege weapons. Used primarily in assaults on fortified cities, the advanced siege weaponry employed by the Mongols shows how central engineering and technology is to their war effort. To blula to their war efforts. The Mongols draw on knowledge gained from captives and subjects across the Asian continent, including Arab, Persian, and Chinese experts, to construct their vast arsenal. Probably the Zenta's Crest Farm. Oh, no. Uh, I, I see exactly where that would be. And we will get it pretty soon. But for now, let's... Max out the Ronin entire. Thank you. Re-equip our actual stuff. Because that straw hat still got nothing on the Kensei hat. And we need our traveler outfit. So, yeah, I'll be back in a little bit. We will continue this collectathon and eventually get ourselves out of Kin and onto Icky Island. So, be sure to join us for that. 
thank you for everyone who tuned in to catch some of this stream live. Really appreciate y'all being here, and I'll see y'all next time.